that gonna work? Can you see yourself right about there? Do your babies cry? Babies going nuts, trying to avoid nap time. And you're the culprit that don't wanna sleep. You're the culprit. <laughs> yeah. Let me go take a nap. How's it going out today, everybody? I hope you're having a good one. I know I am. My name's Garrett, and if you're new to the channel, I shoot reviews and tutorials on gear that I use every single day. Got a good video for you today because we're gonna go onto the interweb and talk about a tool that I have absolutely fallen in love with. Disclaimer, this video is not sponsored. So the tool that I'm talking about is Fiverr, and I know all the big channels lately have been obsessing over Fiverr and being sponsored by it. Fiverr, if you're listening, I would love to be sponsored here on this tiny little channel. Uh, that would be pretty cool. But I'm gonna talk you guys through the process of actually posting a gig on Fiverr and how I feel it's fairly easy to do uh, to help get your work out there, help get some people reaching out to you as well. Let's go ahead and hop into it. Okay guys, we're logged into Fiverr here and what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna switch to the selling side because when you log in, it will have you on the buying side of things, but we actually wanna post a gig. So we're gonna go to the gigs tab. This is where we're actually gonna start creating our new job listing. If you notice, I have my first one right there that I made the other day. Already have a few impressions, some clicks. No orders yet, but that's okay. Like I said on in my intro, this is more of a set it and forget it type thing. So we're gonna create new gig, and now we can title. So I will shoot product shots for your brand. There we go. So I will shoot product shots for your brand category, and it actually has some suggestions right there. It is product photography. Now, gig metadata, file format, we're going to be delivering JPEGs because I'm going to edit RAWs, um, because I'm going to edit RAWs and then I'm going to actually export them as a JPEG. So photo settings, choose the primary setting which you'll use. I'm actually going to do outdoor and lifestyle product type. We're going to just put sports and outdoors and you have to put up to five tags. We're going to say sports, outdoors, product, photography, and then we'll also put branding. Now, obviously you want your tags to be a little bit stronger than this, but this is just for sake of giving you guys instructions. Sorry, I can't type. I'm gonna save and continue. And we're on to the next window here. Now the next window is going to be pricing. So we're gonna put our three packages. Got it. So the basic package, we're gonna name the quick delivery. Standard package, we're gonna name this the social media package. And then the premium package, we are actually going to name, and forgive the mistakes there, we're actually gonna name that the commercial package. Now, once again, you may want to put some thought into your titles. Describe the details. This package is great. Cannot type for quick turnarounds. Great for social media posts. And this one is going to be described as excellent option for commercial use. So we have those titled and described delivery time. This one we're gonna put two day delivery. This one we're gonna put a, th let's put a five day delivery and then a seven day delivery right here on the premium. Photos per product, let's just put 10. Let's put 15, and then for the premium, we're gonna put 25. Retouching, yes, yes, and yes. Model and live subject, yes, yes, and yes. Background removal, we're gonna go no, yes, and yes. Lifestyle staging, yes, yes, and yes. Infographics, no, no. Actually, we're gonna go no, yes, yes. Product prep, yes, yes, and yes. Revisions, we're gonna say one revision, two revisions, and three revisions. And guys, once again, these are examples. You can do whatever you want to. Pricing on this, we're gonna say $100. We're gonna say $150 on the middle package. 
And then on the third package, we're going to say $200. Once again, price yours accordingly. Additional photo per product. These are extra services you can add. So we're going to add some extra fast delivery. If you remember up at the top here, I put that this was a two, a five, and a seven day delivery. So we're actually going to say I'll deliver it in one day for an extra $50. And I will deliver this one in three days for an extra $50. And I will deliver the third package in five days for an extra $50. Now you can add on any extras that you would like, or you don't have to. It just gives you the option, which I think is pretty cool. Save and continue. Briefly describe, now you have to have at least 120 words. So I'm just going to say, I will shoot product shots for your brand. Boom, we're there, 121 characters, let's go. Save and continue. Requirement one, the only thing that I'm gonna require for this job is I do need example product. Save and continue. Gallery, this is where you're actually gonna post example work. So I'm gonna go to my browser here. I'm gonna select a photo. I'm just gonna pick this one and we're in there you do have to read the terms of service and agree to it save and continue now we're ready to publish our gig so let's publish your gig and get some buyers rolling in so we're going to publish that and now we have a live gig so if we go back to our gig tab here we now have two live gigs so we have shoot product shots for your brand edit your raw photos in lightroom and like i said you said it and forget it Okay guys, so like I said, I wanted to show you how easy it is to use Fiverr. And whether or not you're using it for photo related jobs doesn't matter. Um, Fiverr is a great platform for anyone, whether you're doing editorials, whether you're making logos, designs, whatever it is, Fiverr is a great resource to get your name out there and get some work rolling in your way. Um, as you saw, I now have my second gig posted and I'm pretty excited about that. I'm still new with Fiverr. Once again, this video is not sponsored. Fiverr, if you're listening, help the small guys out. Anyways though, if you guys have any questions about my experience with Fiverr, I would love to see it down in the comments below or I would love to see your experiences down in the comments below too. Is Fiverr a tool that you use? Do you not? Would you like to start using it? Do you love it? Hate it? Whatever it may be, uh, throw it down in the comments. I will say this, one of the things that I do like about Fiverr versus some of the other platforms that I've researched is the fact that you're not out there quote quote applying for jobs with Fiverr it's kind of like a set it and forget it type deal um, you know I just posted a gig and whether or not anything comes of it who knows we'll see but it's nothing that I have to actively think about uh, whether or not I'm applying or not I posted my gig that's cool I showed some example work and if somebody bites on it great if not I'm still moving along anyways as always if you like my content want to see more like it I would love it if you would like this video subscribe to the channel it definitely means a lot to me I love growing this community here on YouTube. Y'all have a great one and we'll see you in the next.